hello students today you have got history lecture and we will be doing the lesson number 5 the name of the lesson is education and it's on your page number 23 come to your page number 23 lesson number 5 education in now in this chapter we are going to study the importance of education and which different plans were promoted to implement the policy of education in this chapter we shall review the main stages and schemes in the development of the educational system in india so what we are going to study in this chapter development of education system in india how education developed in india we shall take into consideration primary secondary as well as higher education so we are going to study primary education secondary education and higher education and beside research institutes in some rep re representatives area now what are your research institute those students who want to do their further study they go to research institute this will give us an idea of the educational system throughout the country the first census now what do you mean by census after every 10 years a report is collected a study is made that is called your census the first census of independent india in 1951 revealed the extreme complexity and intra intra ability of the educational issues in the country during 1951 we faced many problems in field of education in the first census the literacy level was 17 percent it was high shown below so in the year see first what we had we had only 17 percent who were able to read and write but slowly by slowly the rate of literacy started increasing now for example in 1971 literacy rate was 34 percent in 1981 the literacy rate was 43 percent and so on improving this percentage was a serious challenge for the government of india several remedial schemes were put in place to deal with it so improving the percentage is slowly by slowly the literacy rate was increasing but still the government was facing certain kind of challenges now we'll see what you mean by primary education we all have gone to the phase of primary education primary education refers to the schooling given to the children in the 6 to 14 year age group so according to this primary education is given to the children between the age from 6 to 14 in 1988 the central government started a scheme for spread of primary education and to improve educational standards so what happened in 1988 the central government gave importance to primary education and to improve educational standard it is known as operation blackboard so it is called as operation blackboard and you know what is a blackboard a teacher always refers to a blackboard now now the blackboards have been replaced by green green board is one and the same so what you have got today uh, it was known as operation blackboard the government made funds available to help improve the standard of the schools and to fulfill minimum education need so what the government did government made uh, gave some funds funds for what to promote primary education so more number of children could able to read and write to fulfill minimum education need the child latest two proper classrooms so stress was given where there are no school there should at least be two proper classroom toilets one of the two teachers to be female so mostly there should be a female teachers a blackboard maths laboratory apparatus a small library a playground sports equipment etc this scheme helped the primary education system to gain some momentum momentum means what to gain some speed so the government uh, what this funds were given to the funds were given Uh, for the minimum of two proper class, there should be a toilet. There should be at least two teacher, but there should be female. A blackboard, math, laboratory apparatus, a small library, a playground, sports equipment, etc.
now in 1994 this scheme was expanded and provision was made for one educational classroom so in the year 1994 this scheme was expanded and the provision was made for educational classrooms for classroom and for appointing one more teachers teacher in school so before there was only two teachers so now according to 1994 there should be there should be one more teacher with an enrollment of more than 100 students if there are 100 students the number of teachers should also be increased with priority given to girls and importance are given for girls education a girls school schools with a majority of scheduled caste and tribe students and schools in rural areas now what you mean by scheduled caste and scheduled tribe those people who are neglected from the process of study so such kind of student should be given given education those belong to scheduled caste and scheduled tribe in rural areas and more important should be given in rural areas in villages where there are no school it was also made binding upon the state government to appoint female teachers to 50% of the post in school so even the state government gave important that female teachers should be increased again in 1994 the district primary education program that is dpeg stands for district primary education program was started up with the objective of universalization of primary education what you mean by universalization that everybody every child should get at least a primary education so primary education was made what was made universalized it was implemented in seven states including maharashtra so this universalization of of education was implemented in seven states and even maharashtra was one of them the plan envisaged 100 percent attendance in primary school so it was there at least there should be 100 percent attendance in primary schools arresting students drop out drop out means for those students who leave the schools in between due to some financial problems or due to some reason okay arresting students drop out education for girls and for the physical handicap physical handicap means those who are not able to uh, to walk properly or to catch a book okay those are physically handicap for them also education should be given it included programs such as research on an evaluation of primary education so if evaluation we should do an evaluation ki how many students are attending the schools alternative education so besides not only reading and writing but even alternative education was given for example how to do farming some basic kind of alternative education creating social awareness how we can create a social awareness etc the mid day meal scheme was started in 1995 to provide proper nourishment for students so in some of the schools students are given one time meals that is called the mid day meal scheme was started in 1995 to provide proper nourishment for students keeping <coughs> students in good health so they started with a mid day meal scheme now come to your next page now your page number 24 you can see over there secondary education okay now you are you all are in ninth standard so you come under the category of secondary education after independence education minister molana abdul kalam azad okay so during this time after independence education minister so we have got minister for education also and who was the minister molana abdul kalam azad decided to bring about fundamental change in the field of education so what he thought that there should be change in the field of education the university education commission was set up for this purpose so what was set up the university university means when you go for higher studies that is called the university studies was set up for this purpose this commission recommended the appointment of separate commission for secondary education so there should be a separate commission for secondary education 
accordingly in 1952-53 so in the year 52-53 the muria commission was appointed at that time the pattern of education considered of 11 plus 4 years so when this person who muria commission came they said education process should be of 11 plus 4 years for the first degree or of 11 plus 1 plus 3 years so after they thought it should be at least 11 plus 1 plus 3 years okay 11 11 plus 4 means so up to 11 you should study and remaining 4 years of your education then they came with the proposal of 11 plus 1 plus 3 so ele up to 11 from standard 1 to 11 you should study then one more year and there should be another 3 years of higher education so this was the planning of the Muriyan commission that was 11 plus 4 years or 11 plus 1 plus 3 years then the work of the commission now the commission studied secondary education in nature of the curriculum curriculum is what what syllabus we are having what you are going to study per standard wise medium of instruction what will be the medium of instruction whether it is going to be english hindi or marathi then teaching methodology what method are going to use in field of education and made certain recommendations and certain changes were made. This commission proposed to propose the concept of higher secondary education. However, however, it was found difficult to implement it all over the country. So this process is 11 plus 1 plus uh, which process 11 11 plus 4 years or 11 plus 1 plus 3 years was not possible and certain changes were made. Now next thing, the Kothari Commission. In 1964, a commission was appointed under the chairmanship of Dr. D. S. Kothari. Dr. J. P. Nayak made a valuable contribution to the work of this commission. So under, why this called a Kothari Commission? Because this person, Two chair, chairperson, that is Dr. D. S. Kotari and Dr. J. P. Nayak made lot of changes in field of education. The commission also recommended the 10 plus 2 plus 3 pattern. So they came with a new concept that was 10 plus 2 plus 3. So you are following which pattern we are following now and present 10 plus 2 plus 3 pattern. That is 10 standard up to first to 10 standard then two plus two that is 11 and 12 and plus that is your university education for secondary higher secondary and university education so this is the secondary up to 10 is the secondary up to two is a higher secondary and up to three is the university education this system was implemented from 1972 so which system the system of 10 plus 2 plus 3 was uh, implemented uh, implemented from 1972 the commission also suggested a uniform national system of education the inclusion of the mother term that is hindi and english in education as well as continuing education adult education you know what you mean by adult education those students who are grown up who are not able to attend school okay so for them also adult education should be given education by correspondence what do you mean by correspondence those who are not able to do uh, uh, not able to do further education or go to colleges so they can do to correspondence means they have to enroll their name and they have to study and they have to give the exam so simultaneously they can they can do work also and they can study also. Correspondence and open university. To make, to make education trickle down to the lowest levels of the society. It also recommended increased provision in the government budget for expenditure. So with this kind of uh, policy, government budget also was increased on education and neglected section, sections like the scheduled caste and tribe. So even education was given for scheduled caste and scheduled tribe people. Now, the Maharashtra government adopted the 10 plus 2 plus 3 pattern in 1972 and conducted the first standard 10 board exam in 1975. So when the first board exam was 
uh, was conducted in the year 1975 under the policy of 10 plus 2 plus 3. Now, what are the objectives of education according to Kothari Commission? Now, see your objectives of education. First thing is what? Modernization of education. Some new techniques should become in the field of education. Social and national integration. Okay, every chapter or so every textbook should be related to social and national integration. Simultaneously, even students should come to know the importance of national integration that we, we, the country of India, in spite of diversity, we are integrated with each other. Nature of social, moral, spiritual values. So, education system should, should teach us something spiritual values. For the example, discipline, punctuality, okay, patriotism. These are some of your values. Education and productivity. So, education should be something of productivity. We should able to do what we have studied in the field of education. And securing and strengthening, strengthening of our democracy and with the help of education our democracy should become strong okay students we'll study till here only hope so you have understood the importance of education in the next history lecture we will start from higher education thank you